also, some of you may know, one of the unique features of the VV58 is that it has stripper clip guides built into the bolt carrier, and they are designed to take SKS compatible stripper clips. The uh, Czechoslovakia did not ever use the SKS, and the VZ-52 rifle, which preceded this, is not in any way related to the SKS. It did not use this style of stripper clip. It used uh, five-round stripper clips. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. Uh, what's often people often complain about is that it's really hard to load these things with the stripper clips, and I've had this happen to me myself, is that if you try to do them the normal way, just holding the rifle like this and pushing down with your thumb, what inevitably happens is your thumb pushes back on the stripper clip, it pushes back on the bolt carrier ever so slightly, and then, oops, now the bolt wants to close forward on only a partially filled magazine. That is a problem. Now, I was reading a book the other day about the history of this rifle, and I was actually Google translating my way through it because it is entirely in Czech. I don't speak like a Czech. And it actually had uh, some instructions on how to properly load this rifle with stripper clips. I'm just demonstrating this uh, with uh, Igman brass case ammo. So what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to take your left hand, put your left thumb behind the stripper clip, and then put the rest of your fingers around the front of the magazine and grip it so that your thumb is pushing the stripper clip forward always. And then with your right hand, however you're free to do it, I'm trying to best, find the best way to show this on camera, is just push the rounds in as close to the back of the stripper clip as you can. And then that way, the bolt is still locked to the rear because there was never any force or enough force pushing backwards on the stripper clip to uh, cause the bolt latch to release. We'll just keep filling this magazine. I'll demonstrate it again. So you take a stripper clip, put it in the stripper clip guides, and with your left hand around the front of the magazine, always pulling forward. That is a, how the wording is in the manual. I'm going to reach around the tripod here. Boom. That's two stripper clips. I'm loading these magazines because I have a match on Saturday. Just two days from when I'm filming this. Might be a better way to show it. And the last one is always the trickiest. It's doing this to me now. There we go. Now it's out. The magazine is full. We can do it again. So I'll just test do it again with another magazine, some steel rounds, just to demonstrate that the case material doesn't make a difference. So oops, sorry, I bumped the tripod. First clip goes in fine. Get the nubs in the second round, goes in fine. There might be some difference in these clips. There's always variation in these, although these are, if I can show it. On camera, these are in fact BXN checkmate clips. All of these are. I don't have any of the cheapo uh, NC Star or Russian clips or Yugoslav clips. Oh, come on. They are still finicky. Keep pushing. There we go. Once you get it started, then you can keep it going. All right. Yeah, that is still never easy to do on the best of days, but at least now it's a bit easier and you won't have to deal with the bolt carrier closing on your clips.